and you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. You know I don't want to kill you, but I will. Mr. Marston, sir. John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. What's up, boys? Fuck off, boy. This don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boyo. I want to tell you how much she means to me, how special he is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. Irish, what are you doing? Who the hell are you? Give me that. I'm your old friend, Amnesia. Oh, oh good. Blimey. And I've come to tell you, if you ever pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Now get down there. Uh, I thought th 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 thank you for your kindness, Mr. I th 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 thought I, I was a dead man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. <laughs> can I see the boots, gringo? I think you can see them from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, Americano. As you wish. <laughs> A killer like you uh, deserves fine women and wine. The best pleasures earth can give a man. I need some information, DeSanta. All in good time. <laughs> uh, my man and I will finish our business here, and we can talk back at Escalera. The next time I see you, I need some answers, Captain. Your Yankee friend here is a fucking cheat. Easy there, Germany. Calm yourself down. Oh, yeah, you know exactly what you did. Yeah, I know exactly what I did, friend, which was nothing. Now, I'd prefer it if we could all play a friendly game and no one get hurt. You fucking pig! Go back to your country! Where is Javier Escuela? Wait, wait, wait! Okay, all right, all right. Shit. All right. Casa Madrugada. Just hold up there. Oh, hurry up and kill me. Or just let me go, okay? No, I hate to judge, but as it turns out, it's you or me. The way I see it, might as well be you. So you want to settle this now, friend? Or you want me to shoot you in the head right now for that poor girl? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston. I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over! Shit, damn it, don't touch! Fetch him, get down, now! Now would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Please, what are we going to do? I'm gonna hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? 
Just kidding. We're gonna run across the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. But since you didn't, where's my family? I got a plan, John. You always got a plan, Dutch. Your wife was killed in a prison riot last week. I'm only joking, dear boy. They were sent back to that Scrabble ranch of yours in Beecher's Hope. They're quite safe and sound. They better be. Don't you go blaming me. I ain't blaming no one, old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed. And no cattle. That's a nice way to greet somebody. Why don't I get to warm and tender embrace? Consider the fact I ain't put a bullet in you, your embrace, old man. What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. Well, <laughs> not yet. To be honest, though, it tastes bad enough to kill a man. Well, thank the good Lord you're back. Nothing worse for an old man than sleeping in the warm afternoon sun. You want a long sleep, Uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than food. You always was a hard, nasty man, John Marston. You always was a useless, conniving thief. He said he was going up to the pass, track down that grizzly that's been seen up there. Kid can't hunt a grizzly. Thing will eat him alive. I know. I tried to stop him. But you're worthless as a lawyer at a lynch. Damn you, old man. This is my son. Anything happens to him, you wish it was you that bear attacked. Keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worried about me, you hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go! Get! <laughs> 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 